We have come to the beautiful Westmore Farm Fishery in Lincolnshire to have a nice little bit of family time, but of course, it's a fishery. Yes, we've got a luxury lodge to enjoy, but more importantly for me, we've got a lake right on the doorstep, full of hopefully very obliging carp. Right, Sarah and the kids are happily getting the lodge ready. And I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carp here. So I'm just going to put a couple of handfuls of pellet down. And uh, as always, try and get the quickest bite possible. As long as they don't see me, I'm in, I'm in the clear. Well, I've done my bit in the lodge, I helped out. I, so I was putting stuff away, and in uh, my wife's words, you're getting in the way, why don't you go and catch carp? Now, I don't, need, I don't need to be telling twice on something like that, and I'm pretty sure that with them fish down there, there is a quick bite to be had. So a little solid bag rig, four and a half inches of supernatural, little yellow wafter, and some pellet, will hopefully be all I need to get the party started. This is the one that I walk down the edge. And it's been fished down there all afternoon or since we've been here. And it hasn't taken long to get a bite. Hey, Connor. Come here, buddy. That's it, mate. Remember how to do it? That's it nice and low. Good boy, lift it up. Well done, mate. It's a bit bigger than that, mate. What are you doing? Don't stand on the monkey. <laughs> oh, actually, you little. <laughs> that. That is not funny. Actually, it is. Well, it is day one of the staycation, and like anyone's first days of a holiday, it is utter chaos, trying to get everything out of the van, get the lodge how you want it for a couple of days. Not going to do so much, because it's absolutely amazing. Lee kindly invited us up here, and he's done it to, sort of in dedication to his, to his late mum, so it's really nice, well it's beautiful in fact. He 
kindly took us for a walk around the lake, pointed everything out. Obviously he's dug it so he knows where all the features are, pointed things out to me. We've kept it simple for the evening, only had the rods out a couple of hours, just kept them in close. And even though the kids have been running up and down playing football and generally trying to scare every carp out of the swim, we have somehow managed to catch one. So I'm just dishing up. I've even cooked a bit of chicken pasta. Garlic bread's about finished. We'll eat this, have a look at the carp. Exactly. £13.1. Okay. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Well, that is a little cracker. And he had the decency to come just before dinner was ready. So, £15.1 one ounce. Lovely little carp. And if all the stock look half as good as this and we can get a few more bites, we are in for a right old treat. Just look at him. Now Lee has informed me of exactly what fish he's stocked into here. They've carried on being fed, so you'd expect them to all have put on maybe a little bit of weight. And with that in mind, a couple of my children have never caught a 20 pounder. I mean, why would they? They're only very young. There is definitely some PBs on the cards this week. Just under 22, 21. Do you know the funny thing? What? You've now caught a bigger fish than your big brother in England. <laughs> He's going to be furious. There we go. I thought that might be it for the night, but Freddie has just landed. How big was it, Freddie? I don't know, 21 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> 21 pounds, 12 ounces. What a perfect start. Happy? Yes, I get. <laughs> <laughs> Right, where's that bucket of water? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we get some photos? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, no. It's just me, darling. The very wet monkey. Very wet monkey. been up a couple of hours ago but six o'clock seems a fair time when you're technically on your holiday cup of tea 
I've just snuck out and put some bait in. Drop on that in a bit. Right, well since I've been here, most of the fish that I've seen have been around the margins. That's it's a new fishery, so uh, where Lee's been feeding them, he's obviously going to be around the edge. You're not going to spend hours spotting the bait out into the middle, so why not mimic that approach? So I've just got some real simple mix. I've got pellet in here, I've got sweet corn, I've got some whole and chopped and crushed boily. The final touch, I'm just going to give it a real good coating in smart liquid so that wherever that stuff lands, it's gonna have so much appeal that they're just gonna to have to drop down. And because I've got so many fine bits in there, um, it'll leave a bit of legacy in the zone and keep them rooting around for ages. So I think what I'll do, I'll wait till the kids are awake so I want them to catch more than I do. We'll have a wander round, start putting some bait all around the margins and then just keep an eye on it. Cause I'm pretty sure, judging by what I've already seen in front of me here, when they do have a feed, you can either see them fizzing or better still, you can either see the clay bottom clouding up. And once you get that, Lower a solid bag over the top and hopefully not wait the, what no, not wait too long for a bite. Um that's they actually go like so say your name's Neil, right? Yeah. They'll say, yo yo yo, what's up Neil Folk? <laughs> <laughs> Right, now you've got an important mission now. What's my important mission? You've got to try and find two stones. I don't so know where you're going to find them. So it's Mission Impossible? Could be Mission Impossible. <laughs> hands underneath him daddy will help you okay how big was this one 13 pound two ounces are you pleased oh uh, yes how long did it take to get the bite about two minutes yeah, yeah. he's a lovely fish mate mm. we've only got two in total haven't i dad yes as many as lewis has caught all year though what it is <laughs> <laughs> Well, it has been a busy old day and it always feels sort of harder work when it's as hot as it was today. Fish have not really wanted to play ball, if I'm honest. They've spent a lot of time up in the water, cruising around, just like us as a family, enjoying the sunshine. Um, I've kept chasing them though. I've been walking around, baiting the margins in just about every swim on the lake and constantly checking and rechecking for any signs of feeding. And as soon as, as, soon as I was seeing something, We'd rush round, rods on the deck, a couple of rigs in position, and uh, thankfully it paid off. Freddie caught himself, it, he's flying. He's had a PB mirror and a PB common since we've been here. Uh, the common was just over 17 pounds, but now, just enjoying the fire. Had a lovely barbecue. The owner joined us with his son as well. A couple of beers, watched the sun go down, and I've seen a few fish roll. So, uh, might be a bite or two on the cards yet. We'll see. I'll keep you posted though. Oh, oh. oh gosh! No! Oh. Right, 
that up higher now, darling. Keep that line nice and tight. And that's it. If you lift the rod up a bit more. Well, it doesn't have a clump of weight on it. It's like on the net. No. Yes! Hey. Good work, darling. That is a lovely, lovely fish. I just want to look at it. I just want to look at it. Let Emily say it, okay? Where's it going to stop going round? Oh, days. <gasps> um, 24, 24 pounds and 54 ounces. No, one, one ounce. No, one ounce, sorry. Yeah. Well done, Ems. How was that? is an absolute perler. How big Ems? 24 pounds and one ounce. And that is the biggest fish you've ever caught. Yeah. I was just saying that there was just a few fish for the first time rolling in this side of the lake. Emily gets a bite. Two PB, that's two PBs down. Technically still two to go, because the wife's got to have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Well done. Did you get some nice photos? Sure. Gonna give him a kiss? Come on, kiss no, it, no. kiss it. No, no. Oh, well. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as you can tell, I'm wrapped up like it's winter again. Um, I had an early start, just lowered the rods in the edge, a couple of handfuls of bait around each, uh, and we'll see what the day brings. I don't think I'm gonna fish all day today. It was, forecast is pretty much the same. It's gonna be really warm again, and with the fish spending quite a long time in the upper layers, zigs are not, loud, not allowed on this particular venue, and I think that would be the way to, to perhaps try and nick a few more bites. So I think we're going to take a wander with the family, maybe play a bit of football, certainly have a look around the other lakes on the complex. But before I go, bait all along the margin so that when we come back, hopefully we can get we can get Connery's bite. He's not had anything yet. That's the plan. We'll see how it how it plays out throughout the day. And that right gives portable hot water bowl. Genius. But carp fishing is all about location. I'm fishing them right in the edge, nothing's happened. And the only thing we hadn't really tried is out in the open water. And out to my right, there's like a little island and I'm still not sure if that's a sort of floating island. I've put a rig out there, literally, just to clip up. I had cast slightly too far. And as I went to reel it in, I was into a fish. So, totally assumed I'd foul hooked it. It was within two seconds of that lead hitting the ground, I started to reel in and there was a fish on, so I just assumed I'd foul looked it, but I hadn't. Now, in a little lake like this, where they are, they're new fish, it's only been, it's been, they've been in here for about a year, they're used to being fed, they're gonna be together. So I've put another pop-up out in that zone, and sure enough, it's gone within 10 minutes. I've already got what is probably a 20 pounder in the sling, or in the net to show you, and he is about to be joined, hopefully, by one of his mates. Out for a start. How's my hair look? Pretty cool? Yeah. Hey. Right, now we found them. I want to get that rod straight back out. Well, it's bigger than I thought. That is 1912, which technically, that's the biggest one I've weighed for myself. That one in there though, the first one I caught, is definitely bigger.
question is, is it bigger than Emily's? Oh, she's not going to be happy. That is... 26-1. Get in. Well, that will go down as a very fortuitous capture. Literally, cast the lead towards a little island to clip up and the biggest of the trip so far just happened to be in the right place, or for him, the wrong place at the wrong time. 26 pound one ounce, proper brute, fought like an animal, that will do. <laughs> go. Let's go, Colin, you got lotion on? No. No? But not you have. No, I don't phone, darling. What none at all? No. All right, you need to get some on then, mate. I'd put that to dry out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking the ball. No. <laughs> well, it's been a lovely day today. Can't say the fishing has been electric. Had that little flurry of action this morning, which admittedly resulted in the, the biggest fish we've had between us, which was nice. Uh, then it just got hot again, nothing was happening. Load on the surface on this side of the lake now. Tried floaters, no, they just weren't interested. They're probably just not used to eating them. Um, so we went for a nice walk, had a nice walk around the complex, had a look at the other two lakes on site as well. Came back, I'll flick the rods out, they're right in the edge at the minute where I expect, if I'm gonna get a bite from anywhere, that's where it's gonna be. Um, and now, cook a bit of dinner. Had a bit of fun in the in the old uh, hot tub with the kids, played around for a bit. And I think, because it's the last night tonight, I'm going to have to fish. So by the time the kids and the missus go to bed, I'm going to take my bed chair, take Connor's rods, and I think I'm going to creep back up to where I caught them this morning. So that A, I can hopefully get one through the night, but B, that is where I'm sure they are once the temperature really drops. They get out to that side, much deeper water, and I think that's why they were there waiting for them yellow hook baits this morning. So, um, nice bit of dinner, get the kids off the bed, get on my toes up the other end. Wish me luck. Kids are about to go to bed. I'm gonna head down the upper end of the lake, get the rods out, see if we can have a carp. See you in the morning.
Well, fish last night under the stars, and obviously it rained. I don't really know where the rain come from. We've had the last couple of days of 20 plus degrees, not a cloud in the sky. I decided to put the bed chair outside. It rains. Wasn't too heavy though. Thankfully, I did have the bed chair cover, so I just buried myself in that. Got up this morning, I'll be honest, not particularly early. Nothing happened through the night. Potentially a couple of liners. When I did wake up, there were, there were um, tufties everywhere, so it could have just been them picking me up and down. So I redid the rods, freshly gooed up hook bait, freshly gooed up bag, and I've just hooked one. Probably gonna be the last fish of the trip. It's definitely the last day today. I can't really think of a better way to finish. Well, I can actually. Connor hasn't caught one yet. He's been, um, he's been more interested in chilling out, if I'm honest. He's let his brother and sister have the bites when they've happened. He'll get his turn soon, I'm sure. Maybe not this trip, but certainly on the next one. Well, there you go. If there's a, a more perfect ending, I'd like to see it. Just over 25 pound, the last bite of the trip, of what has been a fantastic trip. Kids all had a good time? Yeah. Westmore Farm Fishery has been incredibly kind to us. We've had a luxury lodge for a few days. We're very lucky to be the first ones to fish this pool. These fish are gonna grow into something spectacular. So much so, we've already rebooked for next year. The trip from start to finish has been brilliant. We've caught some nice carp and it's gone from catching them over a bit of bait in the edge to casting single pop-ups out into the lake. No matter what we've tried, eventually we've got amongst the fish, but it's not, it really hasn't been all about the fishing. I know I get to fish a lot, I am very lucky, but to spend time with my children, with my wife, in this idyllic setting, to see them laughing, see them smiling, and just to chill out, that's been the best bit.